All right, so I want to talk about slope-intercept form, also known as y equals mx plus b. This is the general rule of it in all letters, so first I want to label what each of these things mean. So um, let's start with x. We know x, this is our technically our independent variable. Um, but we're just going to usually leave this as x. y would be our dependent variable. Um, this could also be our input, is how I like to think of it. Input, and this is what we get. The y is the output. Um, you could also see this written f of x equals mx plus b. This, uh, this is f of x denoting the y because it's the function of x. So you put x into this thing and you get out a number f of x, which would be the function of x. So this is the function. Um, and remember, you test for functions using the vertical line test. Um, m i equals mx plus b. The m equals the slope. And then b equals the y-intercept. So this is the point on a graph. So we have our x-axis, and we have our y-axis. And the y-intercept is the point at which x equals 0. And so y would equal a number, and y equals b because that's your slope-intercept point. So it's the point at which the line crosses the y-axis, and that is the y-intercept. Um, so that's the basics of slope-intercept form. Um, when you're graphing functions based on this, you want to find just the slope-intercept, or the y-intercept, and then the slope, and you can plug it in here. I actually use point-slope form to get that down perfectly. Um, but this is a good way, when you look at equation in this form, to notice, to know both the slope and the y-intercept so you can graph it really quick. Um, so that's kind of slope-intercept equations.